Hi there, welcome to another episode of On The Road. I'm your host, Elaine Cochran, and today we are exploring the rich history of Port Angeles, Washington, and checking out several buildings throughout the city that are on the National Historic Register of America. Did you know that Port Angeles could have been the nation's capital? That's right, on March 3rd, 1862, the federal government, under direction of President Abraham Lincoln, set aside land in Port Angeles, with the purpose being that if the South won the war and took over Washington, D.C., a new capital could be created. This fact is well documented on plaques and monuments throughout Port Angeles. This brick structure may look a little bit more like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory than a high school, but that couldn't be farther from the truth. I was fortunate enough to get to sit down with Kathy Estes, the executive director of the Clellam County Historical Society. This is Kathy Estes. I'm the executive director of the Clellam County Historical Society, and I have um, worked for the Historical Society for the past 30 years. I work with a group of men and women who are passionate about saving Clellam County's history and sharing that history. And it's, it's just a marvelous job. We get to, to save what we have here and to be able to share it with people. We have arrived at the heartbeat of Port Angeles, the downtown district. With so many busy activities taking place on the streets, it's no wonder that many people don't even realize the history that lies beneath. Back in 1914, the entire waterfront was raised about 12 feet. This process preserved an entire underground that people can still see today. So, to get a look at this lost part of the city and receive some historical insights surrounding the downtown area, we connected with local tour guide Bruce Irwin to take us into the underground. building in the downtown area, the Family Shoe Store, was actually built in 1890, the same year that the Port Angeles Township was established. Our underground was huge at one point in time, and unfortunately we couldn't maintain it for all up until today. Yeah. But we were able to preserve that one stretch of sidewalk, and that gives us a great glimpse of what we had going on at, in this town at that point. We spent the whole day traveling through Port Angeles, Washington, in search of some of the oldest buildings and to explore its incredibly rich history. I hope that this journey was as rewarding for you as it was for me. Until next time, you've been watching On the Road with Elaine Cochran. I want to thank you so much for exploring Port Angeles with me, and I cannot wait for our next adventure together. I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>